Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, with a delicious break here, 2018 Panini Limited Football, 14 box, pick your team, number six. Full case break on a Wednesday. Thanks, everybody, for getting into it. Sean with that last spot, Mojo Ravens. So good luck to him and good luck to everybody who got into this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've got one more full case left, and that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And we can do a... Uh, we can run it back tonight if you'd like. <laughs> Biff Rickles, yo, what's going on here? Is this legit? No, it's not. So, run away while you still can. All right. Good luck, everyone. Thanks for buying in on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Appreciate it. Sure, Terrence. Just head over to uh, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Tyler Wood, if you want there to be baseball, we can do it. What do we, I don't think we have a lot of baseball options, though, on the site at the moment. Uh, we have Pantheon Baseball, but that won't be until tomorrow. Printing play right there. All right, let's start on this side. We got Allen Robinson Jr. leading us off. 15 out of 25 autograph. Nice. And that goes to the Jaguars. Joseph Johns, I, I got you right here. And then behind T.Y. Hilton is D.J. Moore for the uh, Panthers. Eric Wyan with Carolina. The printing plate reveals... A Derrick Henry, 51 out of 75. That goes to the Titans. Arthur Hackett with that one. And who's going to get this train whistle here? It's going to be Todell Beckham Jr. Nice. For the New York Football Giants. That goes to Mark Passmore with that plate. That's pretty cool. Mark. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo. All right, next box. Uh, the redemption was, yes, Variation Silver Spotlight, which is out of 25, maybe? Behind Dalvin Cook is Royce Freeman, 1 out of 25. 
That goes to Ed Aarons in the Broncos. Seventy-four out of ninety-nine, Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs, and he reveals his teammate Kareem Hunt. Sixty-three out of ninety-nine goes to David Allison. It is out of twenty-five. Nice, Eric Wine saying that silver is out of twenty-five. And the next redemption is. Jalen Samuels, rookie patch autographs variation for Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. Next box. I think the book is right here. Generally, it's around one per case. On average, I don't know. I don't know if a book is guaranteed per case, but it generally seems to fall one per case. What DJ Shark hasn't signed your card yet, Eric Wyatt? Yeah, what's he's not doing? He's not doing much. He's got time. There it is. There's the book. Good luck, everyone. Book it. <laughs> All right. We got four out of ten, Russell Wilson. Just one off the jersey number. And behind there is Rookie Phenom. Nice patch right here. Lamar Jackson, 20 out of 50. Nice Rookie Phenom's relic. Russell Wills, one off the jersey number as usual. We never hit jersey numbers here. Shane Peterson with the Seahawks. Behind Jameson Crowder is Jamon Moore. Jersey and autograph, 29 out of 199. He's adding a little extra flair these days in his usual J autograph. That goes to EO and the Packers. All right, and behind Joe Mixon, they usually go this way, I think, the books, is... Bradley Chubb, draft day signature, 6 out of 55. Nice. Jersey and autograph. That's a big Chubb right there. Nice. And that jersey is from draft night, folks. That's what's cool about it. Nice. Little oppo Joe Mojo going to Ed Aarons and the Broncos. There you go, Ed. Next box. Good break so far. That's that's correct. That's a, that's a that's a big chub right there, seal curtain. Bradley chub that is. Mark, Mark saying hashtag not my chub. He has the Cleveland Browns. He's looking for a different chub. There's Roquan Smith for the Bears, 35 out of 99. Michael Kuntz with the Bears. All right, as opposed to the, it's a family show, Seal Curtain. Watch out. There's Carson Wentz, 42 out of 49. 
And there's rookie Phenom's Relic, Sam Darnold. 6 out of 99 for the Jets. That goes to Patrick K. Mitch Trubisky, Redemption, Kalen Bellage, Rookie Patch Autographs, Variations, Ruby Spotlight. What's Ruby number two? Out of, is that a train whistle? No, Eric's saying to 10. Yeah, Ruby confirmed to 10. Jeremy Anderson with the Dolphins. There you go, Jeremy. Nice low number, Kalen Bellage. Emerald is out of five. What's... Oh, I think I'm thinking of uh, triple threads, right? Yeah, Jeremy's like, 10's, 10's fine. I'm okay with 10. You're welcome, man. Triple threads? The reds, the rubies are out of five? One of ones, maybe? I can't keep track of this. 30, there's like 30 uh, releases in baseball a year, 30 releases in football a year, like 20 releases in basketball every year. Can't keep track of all the parallels. I don't, I don't have enough brain capacity for that. Rick Barker, um, no, nothing's filled up after this break. So the world is your oyster. What do you want to do after this? On jazbeescasebreaks.com. Sean says he thought he actually got a redemption from who the other day? Oh, from Kalen Balaj? Never thought you'd see it. I would vote for less releases too, Mark, but I think whatever deal that Panini signs with uh, with the NFLPA and the NFL actually requires like that many releases. As a way, so everyone can get paid and license fees can be covered. And NFLPA apparently charges a lot for licensing. There's Kyle Laletta for the Giants. Two color jersey and autograph, four out of 10. That goes to the New York Football Giants. That goes to Mark Passmore. Kyle Laletta's got to get paid. He's not making Saquon autograph money. There's Limited Ink, Jameson Crowder. 46 out of 99, Limited Ink autograph going to Patrick K and the Redskins. There you go, Patrick. Redskins going QB in the draft this year, folks? They got to, right? 39 out of 99, Marshawn Lynch revealing a Royce Freeman. Rookie Phenoms Relic, 36 out of 50. Another Bronco for Ed Aarons. Michael Gabba in the house. We got we got Mike G autographs up. All right, next box. Good luck. All right, we got 38 out of 49, Jordan Howard and his teammate, Anthony Miller, rookie Phenom's Relic, 74 out of 99. Jeremy thinks he saw a dolphin in the middle one. Behind Dalvin Cook is a dolphin, Durham Smythe. 
79 out of 99 for Jeremy Anderson. Good eye. Deion Russell Wilson is Baker Mayfield. Two color patch and autograph. Four out of 99. Scared money don't make money. Mark N with the dog pound. Nice. You are welcome, sir. Nice two colors. Nice autograph. Two off the jersey number as usual. We don't hit jersey numbers, Mark. You know this. You've been breaking this us for years. We never hit jersey numbers. Why would today be any different? All right. Congrats, man. Thanks for grabbing the Browns. Next box. Good luck. Folks, if you want if you want big hits... Join our breaks, jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you want to hit jersey numbers, we are the wrong place for that. You can go elsewhere for that. We'll never hit jersey numbers. Rarely do we hit jersey numbers. I don't even look for them anymore. People point them out at this point. They're like, oh, that was a jersey. And I was like, what? It doesn't happen here. Monster hits, yes, absolutely. Jersey numbers? No jersey. We don't do jersey numbers here. Come on. Is it too greedy to ask for a no? Well, there might be a Nick Chubb. I don't think there'll be a second Baker. I know. Watch. There's going to be a jersey number coming up now, right? Um, I don't know if there'll be a second Baker, but I, I don't know why. It, a, a Nick Chubb would not be out of the question. Now, what I've noticed in, what I've noticed in these limited cases is that usually... There are, there are at least two big name rookies. I think. Well, I'm actually, maybe we got that Brad Chubb right here, but I don't know. A lot of times we see like two or three big name rookies that pop out of this case, and we got a lot of cases left, or a lot of boxes left too. All right, we got Jester Wee Way Wea. Oh, that's just a. I thought that was a chip in the car. No, it was just a little bit of fuzz there. All right, Jester. Jester goes to Sean Cole and the Texans. Woohoo! Jester's dead. You guys, remember that? Behind Matt Ryan, Josh Allen. Who called Josh Allen? Adam did. Boom! Great color, nice autograph. 10 out of 25, Josh Allen. That's Corey K with the Bills. Look at that. Yeah, Ray called it. Adam called it. There it is. Sorcery. Stone him. Sorcerer. Vanilla Grill is asking Joe, do jersey numbers make a big difference in resale? They actually do. I think they do. 10 out of 25, Doug Baldwin. And there's Marlon Mack, 35 out of 75. I think people try to call it, there's like eBay one of one, so called. Where like 1 out of 75 or 75 out of 75 would be considered an eBay 1 of 1, so-called. But I kind of hate that. <laughs> I kind of hate that. I think it's it's kind of silly. And I don't think it really makes any difference in terms of price. But if this was like, what is he? Is Marlon Mack 25? If this was 25 out of 75, I think that would make a little bit of difference. Maybe not for this relic, but I'll bet, I'll bet if that Josh Allen was 17 out of 25... That would make a difference, I think. And the numbers that are on the left side of the slash, not the right side. Because, you know, sometimes they'd be like, you know, jerseys. And, you know, there'll be a, an insert set with, where, the, where it ends in their jersey number. That doesn't work as well, unless it's both jersey number, jersey number. But, yeah, I think in general it still makes a difference. Is that another book? Or am I psyching myself out? It's another book. I don't think you see two books very often in one case. Thank you. 
Man, if we get a Rosen next, that'd be pretty awesome. Alright. Behind Robbie Anderson is Kike Kuti. Very nice. Three color patch and autograph. 123 out of 199. For the Texans, that'll be for Sean Cole. Behind Philip Rivers, 22 out of 99 is Nick Chubb, rookie Phenoms. Two color patch, 47 out of 75. Another one from Mark N. All right, and let's see what this book is. It's Vita Vea Draft Day Signature, 53 out of 55. Ooh, nice colors in there. Nice autograph for the big man here. Very cool. That goes to, I don't have another slider box here. We'll put that in a slider box after the break. Uh, that goes to the Buccaneers. That's for Shane Peterson. There you go, Shane. Nice book. It's been a great case so far. Good luck, kids. Here we go. We've got another case of this available on jazbeescasebreaks.com um, if you want to run this back. It's a really good break. A lot, of, a lot of nice surprises in these breaks, too. And there always seems to be two, three big-name rookies that, that appear in, this, uh, in each case. At least that's what we've noticed from our cases. All right, 26 out of 99. Deshaun Watson reveals Neam Hines, rookie phenom, 69 out of 75. Ryan Rayner with the Colts. He had that Marlon Mack, and now he has this Neam Hines. Amari Cooper behind him is Rashad Penny. Three color patch and autograph. I guess four colors maybe with the gray and the lighter gray in there. And that'll be for the Seahawks. That goes to Shane Peterson as well. And behind Jarvis Landry is, nice, Nick Mullins. Made some noise against my Raiders. That rookie auto going to Lee and the Niners. Nice. Nice. All right, next box. Leonard waiting for some Rams. Yeah, we haven't seen Rams in a minute or two. Let's try to find some. So this is Pick Your Team 6. Pick Your Team 7. Lucky 7 is in the store right now. And that's still at 22 teams left, but we break until around 11 o'clock LA time. So we've got time to fill and break that break. Rick saying Tampa Bay has the best patches, but they don't have anyone worth hitting. Uh, Vita Vea is not too bad. I think those defensive guys, if they could emerge as as kind of good for, hashtag good for the hobby kind of guys. I think uh, two. Where, where do they draft in 2019? They've got a top five pick, Rick Barker. They'll be nice to have. They should be nice to have next year. With a top five pick, they're pick, they pick fifth, right after my Raiders.
There's Mark Walton making nice use of the canvas. Two-color patch, an autograph, 160 out of 299. Uh, Michael Gallucci and the Bengals. I don't know. What if, what if they what if they just say we're done with the Jameis Winston experiment and they go with the quarterback? All of a sudden, the Buccaneers will be pretty expensive next year. There's Kenny Galladay. With... Come on, Neil. Neil Smith, Ring of Honor autograph. 25 out of 25. Looks like he signed back here first. He's like, oh, whoop. That goes to David Allison, Davy Allison and the Chiefs. That's a dual. That's right, Mark. That's a dual auto. Whoop. Um, hey, Neil. Other side, man. Oh, okay. I wonder how many of this he did this way before he realized he had to do them this way. Has anyone seen any of these other ones? Maybe all the out of twenty fives he accidentally started here. This could be. This could literally be a one of one. <laughs> All right, 5 out of 25, my boy Derek Carr. There's Cortland Sutton, rookie Phenoms, Relic, 75 out of 75, going to Ed Aarons and the Broncos. Oh, Steel Curtain says too many headshots. Yeah, David's like, come on, give, give that guy, give the man a break. Give the man a break. All right, four boxes to go. The Wizards have cut the cut the lead to 11. After after the Bucks scored 50 points in the first quarter. Philly Sports Cards, what's going on, man? Uh yes, we did see a Baker Mayfield. It's in there somewhere. Rookie patch and autograph. Wait, Ryan Rayner saying you saw an Emmett Smith last year that was signed on both sides? That can't be intentional. That's got to be a mistake. Larry Fitzgerald re reveals a Marcel Aitman for my Raiders, 173 out of 199. That goes to Yasik. Jay Trips, what's going on? There's Zach Ertz, 86 out of 99, revealing a Roquan Smith, a Traquan Smith. Roquan Smith's the bear. Traquan is a saint. That goes to. Uh, it goes to Andrew Herman and the Saints. And behind Tyreek Hill is Mark Walton again. Two color patch and autograph out of 299. Another one for Mike. Is this just a box you bought at, at, a, at, a, at a hobby shop or something like that? Who was it? Who was your cracked ice? Oh, Carl Anthony Towns. Nice. Carl Anthony Towns. I've heard of that guy. That guy's pretty good. Nice. Just a box you bought. And I always love it when that happens that way. Case Keenum reveals a Rashad Penny. Two-color patch and autograph. Nine out of ten. Nice low number 
for Shane and the Seahawks. Jamal Williams reveals a limited ink. Quentin Rollins, his teammate, 69 out of 99. That goes to the Packers, EO with the pack. And look at this, AJ Green base card, one of one. Nice. That goes to Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain, and the Bengals. You're wondering why Steel Curtain, if you're wondering why Steel Curtain is getting the Bengals, his father, he's being a good son-in-law, his father-in-law is the Bengals guy. That's the story. There you go, but a one of one nonetheless. Well, now you got to build the rainbow out of this set, Michael Gallucci. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And rookie phenom, relic, Josh Allen. Nice colors in there. 33 out of 50. Bills, Corey K. Why does Philip Lindsay have such few autoed rookie cards? I think. I don't. I don't know. I think initially, there you go. There just got just got your Father's Day present. Good. And, and you can convince him to buy convince him to buy a case of this steel curtain, and then you guys can rip a case of limited, and then try to try to build the rainbow out of there. Um, I think early on, I don't think I don't think Panini realized that Philip Lindsay was going to be. A thing, you know, when they were, you know, a lot of these products are in production months in advance. And I don't think he was one, he was a player. A lot of the rookies, these photos and stuff, a lot of these come from the um, from the rookie premiere, which is in LA every year, a couple weeks after the draft. And so, um, so that's one main reason why you don't see too much of him. But I think I want to say in later product we started to see him here in this product, and I think in later product we should start to see him a little bit more often. Twenty one out of ninety nine, Melvin Gordon revealing a John Ross the third, seven out of seventy five. Nice Bengals, Michael Gallucci. And behind James White is his teammate Sony Michelle. Four color patch and autograph. 57 out of 99. I actually had I think I had a couple pennies on him to win Super Bowl MVP. I had Edelman too, but I thought he was a nice long shot. I think someone else had recommended that too. Who was that? Someone. But nice Sony Michelle for Karen and her Patriots. Jameson Crowder reveals a Boston Scott. 134 out of 199. Speaking of Boston, you guys see the uh, you guys see that Alexa commercial with Harrison Ford and that Boston Terrier? I thought that was a pretty pretty cute commercial, I have to say. <laughs> just just frustrated old Harrison Ford chasing after a Boston Terrier. It got me for some reason because I'm just envisioning old Indiana Jones or old Han Solo running around. Because <laughs> that's what he is. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Last few hits. I thought that was a great one too, Rick Barker. The the football 100, the NFL 100 commercial where they're all running around. And like Franco Harris picks up the ball off the ground. That was a great moment. Wink. I know it landed on the ground. All right. <laughs> next, next ones. Waiting for Michael Gallucci to come in and be like, "Hey, it's a catch." 
Um, there's Antonio Brown. And poor Darius Geis. Three-color patch and autograph, 135 out of 149. Hopefully he comes back healthy because they were pretty high on him going into the preseason. So every, everyone who have, has these uh, Darius Geis rookies, hang on to him. Could be a sleeper candidate in fantasy football too. Uh, that goes to Patrick K and the Redskins. Behind Tyreek Hill is Braxton Berrios, rookie auto for the Pats. Another one for Karen. Twenty-four out of twenty-five. Joe Flacco reveals Cortland Sutton. Twenty-four out of ninety-nine, and that goes to Ed and the Broncos. Broncos had a good break, especially with that Bradley Chubb book. Nice. <laughs> it was a catch. Now it was a catch. Then, Seal Curtain says. I don't know how they do their. That's a good question, TJ. Would guys be considered a rookie in two thousand nineteen? I think in the card world, no. In the hobby, no. I don't know how the NFL handles that. You know, because like in baseball, you know, the, there's there's plate appearance or innings limits that'll qualify them as a as a rookie. In the NBA, you have to play one professional game, and you lose your rookie status. So remember, like Julius Randle, one year he broke his leg in the first uh, in the first game, and so he lost his rookie status. But I think Ben Simmons was still considered a rookie the following year because he never played a pro game. Hobby wise, guys wouldn't be a rookie though. I don't think next year. Anyhow, uh, that's it, folks. That was uh, 2018 Limited Football. Pick your team six. Another one in the store. This is some great stuff. So check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. And we'll do another one with you next time. Bye-bye.